My 28M girlfriend, 32F, was laying on the couch and I saw a sent photo on her screen. Hello all, this just happened about an hour ago so I'm trying to see if my thinking is in the right place. After supper tonight, my girlfriend of 4.5 years was having a nap on the couch, so I went to squeeze in a little Xbox before bed. Got off about 45 minutes later and she was awake on the couch. I came over to sit down beside her and saw a sent photo, a selfie of her curled up on the couch, in a conversation, looked to be Insta and I said offhand, that's a good angle can I see it? She locked the screen and said, I was just trying to take one, and I said, well I saw you take one and send it let's see it, now I am at about a 2 on the controlling scale, I have never asked to see her phone, never have any problems with any of her socializing etc, she never has an issue letting me use her phone, look or anything, she said no you can't see it. I said, what do you mean, I just wanna see the pic, and she got up to go to the bathroom and start doing laundry. I walked up to her and said, you realize this is a massive red flag, and she said, I don't know what you want me to say, why would you think I would cheat on you, I replied, I never said anything about cheating, I just want to see the picture and the way you're behaving right now is extremely concerning. You've never had an issue with me doing any single thing on or with your phone or your laptop, and now you won't even open up your phone at all, she said, can you please just leave me alone so I can go shower, I replied, so you won't let me see what the picture was, and she said no. Now this is all well within her rights, but she has never acted like this whatsoever. There's never been any significant issues, few small things here and there of course, between us. She does have quite a few male friends but it's nothing I get jealous over. Once she was done in the shower, she went straight to bed and I went in and said, this is a very serious thing for me, if you want to deal with this right now we can, but otherwise this will destroy our relationship for me and there's a very good chance we will not be together by the time next month's rent is due, and she just said, I don't know what you want me to say. I didn't do anything wrong, so I took my pillow and I am on the couch now. I've had issues in the past with exes cheating on me, and she knows this. That's why it's been great that I've not had a reason to worry until this. Just a completely different person during that discussion and I have a very bad feeling in my gut and not sure what to do. Edit. She texted, yes texted, me from the bedroom, saying, I was just in the bathroom for one minute looking at my back on my phone. I didn't want you to make fun of me for looking at my back, this has literally zero to do with what happened and seems like she has a completely terrible excuse and timeline of events. I've texted a few friends to see if I can arrange something since things, barring a progressive discussion tomorrow, are not looking good. I wouldn't budge on this personally. The fact that she brought up cheating on her own makes me highly suspicious, plus all the other odd behavior. I would not let this one go. Edit. Just want to say op that I think you're being really strong and handling this way better than I would. I hope one day I have the ability to walk away from disrespect as easily as you do. I was just in the bathroom for one minute looking at my back on my phone. I didn't want you to make fun of me for looking at my back. This has literally zero to do with what happened and seems like she has a completely terrible excuse and timeline of events. This doesn't make sense, she took the picture on the couch, what does the bathroom and her back has to do with anything? Please trust your gut. So you said her behavior could spell the end of your relationship, and she just shrugged it off. I'm sorry to say but it sounds to me like she's already checked out of the relationship. Her cheating on you is a possibility, and it's up to you if you really want to press her or find proof of that. However, I would start making plans to move out and separate whatever finances or assets you share because this isn't going to end well. Red flag, bro. She went on for like an hour being evasive and playing dumb. Continually going to another room. If she had only sent a photo to her mother or her sister, she absolutely would not be behaving that way. End your lease ASAP. Note for life. When someone is caught red-handed and either can't think of a lie or don't want to make it worse by having a bad, obvious lie, one go-to phrase is the old standby, I don't know what you want me to say. Feels like she's buying time so she can delete evidence. Next thing you know she's going to gaslight you tomorrow and say, what picture? You must have had a bad dream. Feel free to show her this comment when she does exactly that. Honestly, this seems really sketchy. I'm not sure why anyone would act like that about an innocent picture. I guess it could be an embarrassing picture or something but I think you should pursue this and find out the truth. 
although there's a chance it could be some silly misunderstanding and I wouldn't want you to get super upset about something that isn't a big deal, I agree that it's a red flag and should be sorted out. I'm going to play devil's advocate here since everyone seems to have pretty well convinced you she is cheating. I have never cheated or even entertained the thought of cheated on any partner. I have been in my current monogamous relationship for over 18 years. That said, I can see multiple different ways that this scenario could play out for me, either sending selfies to my sister, my mother-in-law, or a close girlfriend. If the context in which any of it was sent was girl talk and potentially embarrassing I would be reluctant to show the goods as well. I hope for your sake what she is up to isn't as bad as it looks sounds. Good luck to you. ETA. Thank you for my first award cool cool. So let me understand it well. The main idea of this post is, as I have lots of issues because my ex cheated on me in the past, I'm, trusting, my girlfriend as long as she agrees to show me everything I ask her to. The moment that she doesn't want to show me a pic it's a red flag for me and I'm breaking up a four-year relationship. Men, do both of you a favor, leave her and go to therapy. You don't trust her, you just didn't, had a reason to worry until this, this isn't trusting at all. Yeah man it's not about seeing the pic she sent. Seems to me she didn't want you to read the texts around it. Sorry man. This sucks. I'd try to talk about it a bit more before the ultimatums. Try to be calm and give her time to open up. It could be just the beginning of something bad but maybe not bad yet because of all kinds of possible issues. I'd try to address those issues if possible. If you guys love each other sometimes it takes some hard work. Now I am at about a 2 on the controlling scale. Laughing my ass off not the impression I got. This sub is so ridiculous. Your long-term girlfriend took a selfie of her lying on the couch in the same room as you and you are breaking up with her because you demanded to see her phone and she didn't let you. Lol. I can understand if you walked in on her in the bedroom talking nudes but seriously. She's fully clothed and lying on the couch beside you and because she didn't hand over her phone this is breakup material. Tears of joy. If you ever do get to see who she sent it to, make sure you check the timestamp. She might send it to girlfriend of hers later as well and try to pass that off as what she did. Is everyone serious on this thread? This does not sound like a big deal at all. Talk it out. You're gonna end a five-year relationship over a photo. You have no evidence she is cheating. Okay, I'm sorry, but although you may have reason to worry you handled this absolutely fucking terribly and, regardless of what she actually did, you owe her an apology. You jumped straight to accusations and threatening to end the relationship without even trying to make her comfortable enough to have an actual conversation? Did you even ask her why she didn't want to show you it? You basically prevented yourself from ever finding out what was really up by going from zero to, this is a massive red flag, in no time flat. This is like reading the am I the asshole comment section come to life and trying to muddle through a human relationship. Girlfriend should break up with you. You're not a 2 on a control scale. I'm sorry if you are insecure from past experiences, could have shown you the photo to put your mind at ease, even groggy after a couple glasses of wine but definitely not after the threat. Which is telling about you. You should have dropped it instantly and talked about it in the morning instead of break up and move at the end of the month. Seems super controlling. Hi op, I hope you got some sleep. If you can, still go to work tomorrow and handle it when you're able to. No need to upset your work. As someone else mentioned, it does sound like you're more than a 2 on the controlling scale. Regardless of whether she is cheating or not, you have a big problem in your relationship. Try addressing that with her if she isn't cheating. Also consider addressing it in therapy. Okay. I see a lot of comments saying something like, she's cheating, leave her immediately, I see why her behavior is CK concerning to you and I see why it seems untrustworthy, but after all you don't have any proof of anything. I am not saying trust her blindly, I am just saying, maybe give her girlfriend of four and a half years the benefit of the doubt here and let the situation cool down a bit. After that try to have an honest and calm conversation with her. I know it seems bad, but maybe you're overreacting. Relationships are built on trust and I think you should be sure of everything before you just completely stop trusting her. It was all well and good until she did a huge bit of projecting, bought up the topic of cheating unasked for, and then gaslighted you and obfuscated her responses. She turned what could have been an easily explained thing into a relationship damaging action in an instant. 
The only thing that would cause this sort of action is that she just got caught doing something that she knows she shouldn't have done, and she just got caught bad. I think you just inadvertently opened up a can of worms and I have a feeling you are right, you won't be together by the time the rent is due. Trust your gut, it sees things your brain can't and that your heart refuses to see. I'm curious, is there any other reason you suspect her? If my boyfriend wouldn't show me a selfie, sure I might be annoyed, but I have zero reason to think he's cheating. I'd think maybe he's making a bad joke about me, or maybe a joke about an ex or something that would be too awkward to share. Like when I'm mad at him I bitch to my bestie, but I'd be pissed if he made me show those texts because it's personal and I'm venting. I've never never been cheated on so I don't have that trigger, but beside other people cheating on you has this girlfriend done a single thing to make you distrust her before this? Seems like it escalated fast and there are no other details. Imagine the possibilities. 1. Either she was talking trash about you to her friends or mother. 2. She was flirting with another guy. 3. She is already having an affair. 4. A surprise party or plan. 5. Add what you think can be possible situations and cancel them out one by one after talking to her. The fact that she mentioned cheating immediately is bad tbh. Yeah idk this sounds. Very controlling and dramatic for possibly a miscommunication especially for so long a relationship. I don't know a lot of people who would be able to be with someone so willing to immediately leave after so long together over miscommunications or wanting privacy. The number of emotional simpletons on this sub that feel that they have a right to go through someone's phone to put their mind at ease should be surprising, but it's not. Just a question, does everyone here feel they have a right to their partner's phone 24-7 and vice versa? I haven't been in a relationship like that for a long time. I've never asked to look at my partner's phone, even when I've seen things I wondered about, and he's never asked about anything on mine. I'd never want a relationship where I'd demand to look through his phone, or him mine. We're grown-ass adults and would like some aspect of my own privacy and allow him his. If I didn't trust him I'd just break it off. TBH you both sounds like you have issues. I don't get these posts. Op is clearly not looking for advice, and people wouldn't be in any position to give any sound advice in this situation anyway. Sounds like you're just looking for validation. Not sounding good. Personally I'm kind of a private person don't love people looking at my phone, but even I in that situation would have shown you my phone had I not done anything wrong, just for your peace of mind. So the fact that she normally doesn't have a problem with you using her phone makes this 1000x more sketchy. It honestly all make a lot of sense too, because she has never had to hide anything from you, so that kind of explains why she was so sloppy and sending it right in front of you. Sorry dude. She's super sketchy but I'm not a fan of your behavior either. I'd never explicitly request my girlfriend to show me a chat with someone. It's a breach of privacy. The fact that she's probably flirting with someone doesn't make you less controlling. Anyway, it's probably time to leave her. Even if she shows you the genuine message she sent, and it is innocent, this relationship is over. The baggage you're carrying means you're never going to fully trust her and you'll be subconsciously looking to confirm your suspicions. You need to deal with the past before you can have a future. Yeah if she's willing to let you walk away rather than just admit whatever it was she was doing and show you the pic, she ain't it. You sound kinda nuts. Would try therapy to get past her baggage with your exes. You really escalated her sending a photo to someone into a conversation of, we're going to break up before rent is due next month while following her room to room. Madness. Give her space. I can't tell but I agree with your girlfriend on this one. Privacy is privacy. Maybe she was posting some shit on Reddit and didn't want you to know probably hiding something but it doesn't necessarily mean she's cheating on you what would you feel if she took your phone from you in that scenario do you trust her does she trust you? Sadly in this day and age a device has turned almost into a mind so it's like you're reaching into the thoughts and mind of another whatever that may be and it could be just about anything. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean your partner doesn't have a right to privacy. If you don't trust her, then move on, but you have no right to demand to see anything she doesn't want to show you. While I agree it's odd, this could all be a misunderstanding. Please try and work it out before you break up. Don't just take Reddit's usual, break up ASAP, advice. After a 4.5 year relationship and you threatening that it won't last put the month it is concerning that she didn't react to that, unless you have used that line multiple times before. 
I'd say she has mentally checked out and it waiting for you to end things rather than having to do it herself. She should be fighting to save the relationship but it seems like she couldn't care less. The things you're claiming you said seem very unnatural and almost like you're changing them around to meet Reddit's approval. Between that and the insistence that you're not controlling and don't care who she was sending it to, I'm guessing her version of the events would be very different. Still, I think it's reasonable to say you should be able to ask your significant other who they just sent a selfie to. Whatever reason she has for refusing to answer and then pretending she didn't do it aren't a good sign for the relationship, whether she's hiding something or just sick of your shit. Op is an asshat. Lol don't claim that you don't care about who she sent it to and demand to see the message in the same breath. You already know it was just a selfie anyway, so what's the real reason you want to see the message? Just break up and check yourself into therapy, you'd be doing both of you a favor. First of all it is her phone and if she does not want you to see a picture then so be it. Do you pay her cell phone bill? The insecurity is yours and yours alone to deal with. And then the threat that we might not be together when the rent is due. I hope she does leave or throw you out. Threatening her residence what a class act you are not. I've seen photos people post like, Bay took this of me while I was sleeping, he's so sweet, that they clearly took themselves. Maybe it was one of those, and she's embarrassed. Why does everyone think this controlling behavior is acceptable? She's a grown woman and she has a right to keep her phone private. You try to excuse your behavior by saying you've been cheated on in the past? That has nothing to do with her. She had to ask you to leave her alone so she could shower? You, no, back off and grow up. I see way more red flags in your behavior than in hers. You're a two on the controlling scale. Why is there a controlling scale to begin with? Controlling behavior has no place in a relationship, whether it's a 10 or in your case, a 2. That's like saying someone is a 2 on the cheating scale. There's no place for that. I think you need to do some deep introspection and possibly attend therapy. Nah bro gonna be honest it sounds like you're being weird. She could be having a day off and have just sent a picture to a friend, then you come over having been watching her screen or her private conversation and now hounding her about it. IDK but it just seems like something insignificant, I wouldn't worry about it. Just apologize for being weird and move on, you can't win with women anyway lmao. There really are a couple of scenarios where her reaction would be fine. Talking to a friend about your relationship with her for example. Like, look how sexy I am, curled up on the couch, but he is gaming again and has no eyes for me. Going on about how your sex life is lacking the last months. Of course she doesn't want to show something like that to you. And it is perfectly fine to have this conversation and wanting to keep it private. Ending a relationship because she wants to have secrets from you really doesn't look like two tenths controlling. You should be able to tell if there is a concern for cheating or not. If there is not, then it is just your fear of it, that is guiding your actions. Now I am at about a 2 on the controlling scale. No, you're like a 100 on the controlling scale. She took a selfie of herself and you're demanding to go through her camera roll. She didn't want to show you. She probably didn't think she looked good. And no, you didn't specifically bring up cheating, but go to any comment that mentions red flags, and it's almost always specific to cheating. I've had issues in the past with exes cheating on me, and she knows this. That's your problem. That doesn't mean she has to hand her shit over every time you demand it. The fact that she seemed fed up tells me that this isn't the first time you projected your insecurities onto minor, innocent things she was doing. That's so weird and it seems like you're leaving out details. You brought up that you've been cheated on in the past. She probably knew that and that's why she even mentioned it. If it looked like a conversation then, it probably was and she probably didn't want you reading it. You sound weird as fuck for even asking that. Let me see the selfie you just took. Dot. You live with her, why do you need to see a selfie for? I would get defensive too because you're really pushing just to see a selfie in a conversation that clearly doesn't involve you. Tell her the trust is gone now. She can't explain away what you saw in something that innocent doesn't need that much defending. Info. Have you ever accused her of cheating before? Ask to see her phone before? Has she ever told you that you were controlling? Do you question her about where she goes and who was there? Do you ask how she spends her money? The red flag is actually her response, not the picture itself. Tell her to come clean and open the phone or you are going to assume the worst. 
If she doesn't or she does and her messages are wiped then assume the worst and do what you gotta do. You both sound like pretty shitty. Soon as she doesn't want to show you a picture, you start threatening to break up with her. She refuses to show you a picture that's supposedly a dumb selfie. You're both 4.5 years into this. This should be a non-issue either way. Break up because it sounds like you're both better off anyway. And op, get some therapy for those trust issues. Acting this twitchy about a photo on a phone this deep into a relationship is, as you put it, a red flag. It sounds like you're downplaying how controlling you are and your girlfriend was drinking and got fed up. You've been together 4.5 years, if she was cheating there would be some other signs. Also we have been in quarantine so the opportunities to cheat are very limited. It sounds like you're a very insecure person and she likely deals with it, but you caught her on a night she was drinking and she put her foot down. It's interesting that her not handing over her phone makes you jump to breaking up, I wonder how often you do this. It all sounds very exhausting. Dude. Your controlling scale is 0 to 2. I would never demand to investigate my girlfriend's devices. You obviously have huge trust issues. You have shown her absolutely no respect, and only came here for validation of your actions. That's why you're only responding to supporting claims with variations of, I know, right. You need to stand by your word and end it. For her sake. 